we may want to integrate the function, but not have an explicit formula to work with. Instead, we may have a series of discrete observations. For example, perhaps we want to integrate from A to B f of x dx, but all that we know about f of x is that it goes through these points. Well, then the fundamental theorem is right out if we don't have an equation for the function, we can hardly take the antiderivative. Fortunately, there is a rule we can use here to numerically approximate the integral called the trapezoidal rule. The trapezoidal rule works as follows. We don't know anything about what the function is doing between these points. Lacking any actual data, we might as well assume that it's linear. Here, is our approximation of this function. And we can find the area under this piecewise linear graph. In particular, we can find the area of a trapezoid. There's a formula for that. So we can find the area of all of these regions. We can then add those approximations up to approximate the area under a curve. I've said that we know the area of a trapezoid. It's possibly not a form, though we've actually committed to memory the area of a trapezoid is its base times the average of these heights. So that. And if we take all of these areas of trapezoids and add them together, we get to this. The trapezoidal rule works whether or not these intervals are the same length or not. However, if these little intervals are all the same length, that is to say we've got some single length, delta x, then the trapezoidal rule really simplifies. In particular, the trapezoidal rule simplifies to this. All the terms in this sum have a two in front of them, except for the first and the last term. Why is that? Well, f of x sub one is the length of this line segment. And the length of this line segment appears twice. It appears when we find the area of this trapezoid, and it appears when we find the area of this trapezoid. Likewise, this side here 
appears when we find the area of this trapezoid and this trapezoid. It appears twice. On the other hand, this only appears once. So it appears when we find the area of this trapezoid and only then, and this only appears once when we find the area of this trapezoid.